Do you believe in the power of affirmations and the magic that they can unfold for you in your life? If that's something that you'd like to find out, this is exactly what I'm going to be sharing here in today's episode. This is Dr. Gopika Kumar, your communication and mindset coach. Let's get started with this right away. Now the power of affirmations, I had literally not known for the first 20 years, I think more for my life. And I really hope and I really wish that, you know, I had known much earlier than what I had known about affirmations in a world that's completely changed for me now. Now, the world of affirmations seems more like magical, right? It seems like job bolenge, that is exactly what is going to become true. Jab bolte hai, sochte hai, wahi sach ho jata hai. That's exactly what affirmations in the world truly, truly means. But today I'm going to be talking about the three most important areas of your life that you can create affirmations on and you'll immediately start to witness the results right in front of your eyes, right? Let's get started with finding out about those three areas and how you can create the right kind of affirmations for those three areas. So for those three areas, I'm going to first highlight that in the world of affirmation, which is use of positive statements, when we you being able to use them in conscious and your subconscious state. Now, what do I mean by these two states? First of all, it's important to bring about because without which we might not be able to see the magic that the world of affirmations can bring about. So consciously we are saying that I want to manifest being healthy. I want to manifest loads of money in my life, right? But if my subconscious does not believe in it and does not have complete conviction and faith that it can happen, however it may happen, because I may not really be able to see the way today, but if my subconscious does not believe in it, you may not be able to see the result. Confused, right? So you might be thinking that Gopika, but that's true, right? Because my subconscious will feel like that because I do not know whether it's going to become true or not till the time I've been able to truly witness it with my eyes. Absolutely agree with that. But let's try and understand before we really get down to those three areas which can truly change this world of affirmations. So conscious state says that I'm saying something more at the superficial level, right? So imagine this, this is the top layer of the way that you're communicating. So you're saying that I'm going to accumulate, uh, you know, money, health, relationships for me in my life and in my career. But you're saying it at the superficial level. But deep down within and right from the very beginning, it could be your childhood as well. It could be your experiences and your background where you haven't been given the kind of an experience where you have felt confident, where you have felt that you are capable or you're having the capacity enough to be able to generate that for yourself. And it could be because of the people around you or because of the circumstances that you've been raised up in, because of which they all these notions still reside deep within and we refer to this as your subconscious state. Now, it's extremely difficult to challenge the subconscious state because you might not want to accept it many a times. This is more like a conditioning right from the very beginning as a child. And these notions are way stronger than what we understand as adults, as the logical brain says that, you know, we can attract what we are going to say to ourselves. But the child within says, who's been able to believe the notion right from the beginning that I may not really have the right skill sets or the right experience or the capacity to produce the results. And that's the subconscious that continues to speak back to you. So the first aspect that we need to clearly being able to lay down here in the world of affirmations is that when we speak about and write down these affirmations for ourselves, we need to believe them right from our subconscious state. And this is how we're going to state them. We state them as not I want to be wealthy. We're going to state them as I am wealthy. Now, I know that you might be thinking that I may not be able to say that because that's not true, Hopika. Yes, but that's exactly what we need to change the notion, which is from subconscious, because what you start 
creatively visualizing is what you completely start working towards as well, which produces the result for you to attract that fortune into your life as well, right? That's what really affirmations does. So we're going to now highlight those three most important areas that you should be creating affirmations at your conscious, of course, because you're going to be saying about this, but also at your subconscious state. So let's talk about these three most important areas. What are these? And this can completely change the way that you're looking at things. The first is creating affirmations about health because without which we may not be capable of doing anything otherwise, which means health about you, your family and your loved ones, where you're being able to create affirmations where I'm healthy, I'm going to be keeping my family healthy, my loved ones healthy, and that's exactly how you are creating the affirmations about, right? We are going to be speaking about how do you work towards your affirmations in many other videos as well. But that's the first statement that we're going to be laying down for completely seeing the magical results. And this has to be a belief, as I said, in the subconscious state, right? Where you're going to create that affirmation as a true reality. The second aspect is when you're creating affirmations on wealth, because every other person is speaking about attracting wealth, right? Attracting the kind of money that they want to generate and earn in their life. Now to be able to attract and generate that kind of money, we first need to put them down into our affirmations. And that's the second area of affirmation that we need to be writing down on every, every single day and literally reading it before we sleep and reading it every time that we're getting up in the morning for us to really make sure that we can create that as a reality. And the third very important area that you can start creating affirmations apart from health and wealth is about your personal development. Personal development as a human being, personal development in your relationships, personal development in your career, in your business, and that's the space that you're going to be creating your affirmations on. So when you deeply are convinced about it and you start stating those and putting them down in writing, you feel them at your subconscious state, you will immediately start to witness the results over a period of time. Please note, we are not talking about magical results. We're talking about the conviction, the law of attraction, which brings the results in the world of affirmations. I know if you're still questioning this, there's no harm in being able to apply the same. And I would love to hear back from you on this because this is something that I learned much later in life. And I can tell you completely in love with it because there's absolutely nothing for you to lose in this, right? If you can relate with this, please do drop in your comments and your suggestions on how you're really enjoying these videos and what are the other topics that you'd like us to create videos for you as well. Would love to share that with you. Continue to subscribe and share these videos with your friends and family for somebody who might really, really need to hear this from you. This is Dr. Gopika Kumar signing off for the day today. Until next time.